What's up guys, Chen here with Rise Magic and today we have a very, very exciting and cool unboxing video for you guys. Now, I have no idea what's inside this box, but you probably saw a cool little B-roll intro there. So you know more than I do, but I do know that this box is from our friends at Car Street Touch. And when I say our friends, I mean it because Rise Magic has grown a lot in the past three and a half years. I mean, for you guys watching now, it might seem like we always got cool boxes with lots of decks in them, but at the beginning when we had very little subscribers and very little views, it was a little more difficult to get people to send you cards. And one of the first companies to ever do that for us was Car Street Touch. Some of our first videos on YouTube were with their cards, and this was before we had our own cards. So shout out to the boys at Car Street Touch for believing in us all the way back in 2017. But without further ado, it's an unboxing video. So let's see what's inside this behemoth of a box. I do wanna let you guys know that I really do open these for the first time on camera. I get them in the mail and I'm like, you know what? I gotta save this for the video. Which always gets me excited to film videos because I actually Get to see what's inside. We got two boxes right here. This looks like about a brick size. This looks like it could be two bricks. We'll do the solo brick first. Look at this brick box right here. That is some really cool design and really cool stuff. Carfee Touch, their products and their YouTube channel always always, always are pristine quality and design. So let's see what's inside here. Yo, that is so sick. So this looks like all three colorways from the Derive collection right here by Car Street Touch. That is seriously so sick. I'm gonna have to unbox and unwrap every single one of these. And these are all available on Car Street Touch's website, which is linked in the description if you wanna get some for yourself. Let's see what else is in here, so. Sick. So it's a full brick of 12, four red, four purple, and four yellow. Man, that is sick. And it's not just yellow, red, and purple. Actually, they have names, prune, pepper, and honey. I absolutely love that. That kind of reminds me of what Apple does when they're naming their colors for their phones and stuff. Pacific blue, not just blue, Pacific blue, but that's pretty sick. Let's see what's in the other box right here. Look at that. Looks like two more bricks. Are you guys serious? I, I knew they were gonna send me cards, but I did not know they were gonna send me this many. Guys, thank you so much. This is so kind. And this is the derived collection again. Yeah, so God, goodness gracious, three bricks, guys? Three? Thanks so much, guys. That is insane. So let's take a closer look at these cards because I want you guys to see how incredible they are so you can check them out for yourself on their website. The Derive Collection. Let's take a first look at Pepper. Now first, let's take a look at the Pepper deck. And as you can see over here, it says crafted from scratch for cardistry. And if you're new to cardistry touch decks, you'll know they actually really mean that because these do not even have standard faces to play games with. Every card looks the same, which means these really are just for cardistry. You're gonna see that just like the origin playing cards that we reviewed so many years ago, it says slide to open right up top. And then all you gotta do is pull and it pops right out. There's a nice satisfying click. You can tell it's gonna be durable just by the click that goes right in there. It's very satisfying. Let's take the cards out. So there's your back design. As you can see, it says derive on it. It's a one-way design, not mirrored, but as you can see, there's very, very cool lines on there that almost make the deck look like it's in motion even when it's still. Very cool back design. And then what makes Karshi Touch Cards unique is you'll see the face design is also this cool, it almost looks like a radar map to me, like a radar weather map, but every single face is exactly the same. What's cool about that is when you start doing flourishes, 
it makes the geometric effect of cardistry look that much better. There's just an added flow when you have a unified design like this. Then obviously you got your ad card here, Cardistry Touch, learn more at cardistrytouch.com. This is also where you can get your own derived set of playing cards. There's another derived pepper. So this is one of 2,500 decks, which means it's a pretty limited run. I really like what you guys did with the colorways here. That's pretty sick. Besides that, let's take these for a test run. They are very, very soft right out the box. You can spin them with these. They handle great. Obviously, and flourishes are going to look phenomenal because of the unified design. And as you can see, the design really does look pretty incredible in motion. I'll shut up so you guys can see in here really how beautiful this deck looks in motion. I said this with the first card she touched deck and I really do mean it. When it comes to playing cards, anything printed modern day is going to handle great, but there are subtle differences. And the subtle differences in this deck are phenomenal. It really, really does handle incredible right out the box. You're going to see a very similar design on this box. It says prune instead of pepper. Same crafted from scratch for cardistry. Let's get this unwrapped. Don't think I mentioned this in the other box, but if you can see here embossed in the bottom, you're gonna see that Cardamundi logo. It's very, very subtle. We do know that United States Playing Card Company and Cardamundi merged, but there's still slight differences and how the cards are printed. You got that same beautiful design in purple. I think out of the three colors, purple is definitely my favorite. And then the same face design, but a very different colorway. These look pretty incredible in fans, especially on the face side. Look at that. Can't state enough how easy these are to handle right out of the box, guys. Very soft, very fluid, very easy to pack it. All of the above. I end every single flourish with backdrop, guys. I'm sorry, it's a bad habit. I love that move so much. <laughs> and lastly, out of the derived collection, we have the honey deck. This one also looks pretty awesome. Kind of reminds me of a mustard yellow. I'm excited to see what the face cards look like on this one, the color scheme on that one. There you go, the back design on the Honey Derived Collection. And then you'll see I love that this reminds me of Iron Man, the red and yellow right here, the hot rod red. I'm sure that's gonna look incredible in some fans.
I don't have much to say about the honey version because it is really just another incredible colorway of this design. I do love the red and it breaks in and handles amazing. It really does create an incredible collection when you get four of each in the amazing derived brick box. All right, guys, so that's the video. I hope you enjoyed this look at the derived collection by Car Street Touch, the pepper, the honey, and the prune. So pretty sick names. If you got some extra cash and want to get some dope cars, the guys at Car Street Touch are seriously OGs in the car industry game. They're both extremely talented. We've had the opportunity to hang out with them in person. We really believe in their product. And you guys saw the cool box opening. They're pretty much the first guys to innovate and in making new card boxes. I know we've seen some insane designs recently, but the originators, the first people to really blaze that pathway were definitely the Car Street Touch guys. So shout out to you guys. Thank you again for the incredible gift. Maybe you got the stimulus check. I wanna stimulate the economy with the Car Street Touch playing card. I don't know if I should say that one, but hey, check them out. As for me, we uploaded a bonus video yesterday on the Car Street emote in Fortnite, which is pretty crazy that that's actually gone that much mainstream and then we're streaming tonight on youtube probably we're gonna play some fortnite since they're rocking with the cardistry emote that is some seriously sick stuff